So, how are we going to integrate this using this substitution and give our answers an exact value? Well, first of all, what we need to do is we need to change the variable. We need to replace all of these x's in terms of u. So, we start off then by putting an integral sign down and we've got our 1 on the top and we're going to divide by x squared which is going to be 4 cos squared u if we square both sides here so we've got 4 cos squared u and then we've got the square root of 4 minus x squared so that's going to be 4 minus x squared again which is 4 cos squared u and put that in brackets like that and we've got this dx here now there's different ways of coping with changing this dx but whatever system you use you're going to always need to differentiate your substitution so in this case we differentiate x with respect to u so we have dx du equals negative 2 sine u okay now some of you most probably might tackle this like this. You might remove the du and say that dx equals minus 2 sine u du. Okay? Nothing really wrong in that. And put your answer in here as minus 2 sine u du. Others of you might have been taught to write this as dx by du by du. Well, whatever system you use, at the end of the day, if you replace dx by du with minus 2 sine u, you're always going to end up with minus 2 sine u du at the end of the day. So, what I'm going to do is just write in there minus 2 sine u du and leave it up to you to decide which particular technique you want to follow. Okay. Now we've got the integral with respect to u and we have limits here that are with respect to x so we need to change our limits. So let's start with when x is 1. So when x is 1 we need to put 1 into our equation up here, our substitution, so we therefore have that 1 equals 2 cos u and if we divide both sides by 2 we end up with cos u equaling a half and if you take the inverse cos of a half if you're in degrees mode that's going to be 60 degrees but you need to be in radians mode and give the exact value and the exact value for 60 degrees is pi upon 3 so this will be pi upon 3 radians okay that will go down there we do the same now for x equaling root 2, so we say when x is root 2, what we've got going up to here is root 2 equals 2 cos u, so therefore root 2 equals 2 cos u. Divide both sides by 2 and you end up with cos u equaling root 2 over 2. Some of you might know this as 1 over root 2, and if you inverse cos both sides, the inverse cos of root 2 over 2, or 1 over root 2, is in degrees mode, 45 degrees, but you must give it as a rate in radians, so that's going to be pi over 4. Okay? So put that up there, pi over 4. Now what we need to do is to clean up this integral. And what we should be able to see is that we can do an awful lot with this square root here of 4 minus 4 cos squared u. What we can do is that we can should be able to see that we can think of this as let's just come out off to the side here, okay? This becomes the square root of 4 bracket 1 minus cos squared u. We can pull out a common factor of 4. And 1 minus cos squared u is the same as sine squared u. So this is essentially the same as the square root of 4 sine squared u. 
and you can take the square root of that because that will now be 2 sine u. Okay, so let's just move this slightly over to the right, the left I mean, okay, because we're going to run out of room here. I'm going to try and limit it to just doing it on this one screenshot. So we've got the integral going from pi upon 3 to pi upon 4. Okay, we can put the minus 2 sine u times it with the 1 and we'll put that on the top here, minus 2 sine u. We've got this all divided by 4 cos squared u times 2 sine u. So in other words, we've got 8 cos squared u sine u. And don't forget the du. Now we can clean this up because, as you can see, the sine u's cancel. Okay. And we can cancel out the 2 and the 8. So just do that in green for you. The 2 goes into the 2 once there, and 2 goes into the 8 four times. So when we write this out again, just cleaned up, what we've got, we can we can pull out the minus 1 quarter out the front of the integral, minus 1 quarter, and then we've got the integral from pi upon 3 to pi upon 4. And we've got 1 over cos squared u. Well, 1 over cos squared u is the same as sec squared u. So put that there, sec squared u du. Now, the integral of sec squared u should be fairly straightforward. It is tan u. So we've got that this equals minus a quarter. We can integrate this and get tan u. So we'll put this in square brackets. So we've got tan u going from pi upon 3 to pi upon 4. So all we need to do now is just put our limits in and we've got the minus quarter and we've got the tan of pi upon 4, put the pi upon 4 in first, so tan of pi upon 4 minus the tan of pi upon 3. Okay, so that's quite nice and straightforward. Now, if we work out the values, the tan of pi upon 4 is 1, and the tan of pi upon 3 is minus root 3. So what we could do is just swap this round, okay, root 3, or we can multiply through, we can, sorry, we can multiply the minus 1 of the quarter into the bracket, swap these two values round then as a consequence of that, and what we end up with is quarter then times root 3 minus 1. And that's our exact value. Okay, so quite a long integral, but I hope you've been able to follow that part of it.